Yeah, that was that was um, that was a really really uh, challenging um, spec for that project because Joanna emailed me and described the 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 project as wanting as a artistic piece that of based on the genome that people could interact with people who had certain mutations that made them predispose them towards certain cancers that they could interact with because they were um, they couldn't quite understand or they didn't feel that their their the information that was collected from their genome by companies was either um, available sufficiently to the public to make other people better made to them in a way that they could understand or these other aspects of, of, of access and um, accessibility. So how do you, you know, how do you do that? How do, how do you, you make something that people interact with? How does, like what? Do they paint? Do you, do they poke holes in something? You know, do they throw darts at a board? Uh, no idea what, what to do. Um, and, and, and then there was going to be an artist that we would pick. So that artist would, would do their art, and then somehow we would uh, bend that art towards genomics or insert uh, uh, genomic information into the art somehow by telling the, the artist to draw this instead of that. And then these other people would interact with the art. So that was hard. My first idea was, well, maybe, you know, we can get people to, how do I, how do I imprint myself on art? How do I, how do I say I am, I am me, I am an individual, I have my own genome, whatever may be wrong with it. You know, maybe people could put their handprints in paint on the board. It's like, I know that that's a bad idea. I mean, that checks all the boxes, but it, it, it's, it's too simple. Like, that's what five-year-old children do. And whereas the stuff that five-year-old children do isn't necessarily a bad thing to do, I think we should do more of it, it seemed like low-hanging fruit. And so I, I thought, okay, let's, let's do more, let's, let's think about it more. And um, Joanna wound up picking this artist, Aaron de la, de la Cruz, and he drew these extraordinarily complex patterns that kind of look like uh, roadscapes of, of dense cities. And, uh, then I looked at that art and it kind of looked like, well, that just keeps on going forever in a complex way, kind of like the genome. So maybe some of these lines could be parts of the genome that are mutated and then that kind of fell into place. And then there were positions along those lines where the mutations were and everybody who was participating had slightly different mutations along these two genes. So they could you know, pick, pick a color, they could make mixture paint that was their individuality. They, they, they got some paints and they could pick a color, whatever they, they wanted, however they wanted to mix them. And then they would go up and they would fill in that circle that stood for their mutation, you know, as a kind of a way of, of, of taking back or, or saying it isn't complete until I show up and interact with it. Uh, and, I, and I thought that that worked, that worked pretty well. Uh, you know, when Aaron was drawing the art, the paint was dripping a little bit um, and uh, I had this question, somebody said, did, did you mind that the paint dripped, you know, that, that it, it wasn't clean? And, and maybe I jokingly said something like, well, it's a sad topic, so the cannabis was crying, you know, the tears of paint. But I, I, I didn't mind. I normally resist that kind of thing, because when you do stuff digitally, there is no dripping of paint unless you add it in and you fake it, and it's, it's so fake. It's not really dripping paint. Um, so this was the, one of the only times where I was involved in something that actually had that um, analog, grungier feel where, wow, there is an actual medium that you're mixing and you're slapping it on the canvas and it is dripping. So it's behaving uh, not entirely within your control. So that, that, was, that, was, that was good. Um, and there were other circles left that were un, un, unfilled that were connected to other lines, 
to say that there's many other people out there who have genomes, who have mutations, who have diseases, who could be here filling in those circles, but they're not here because they're everywhere. You know, they're, they're, it's all of us. So that worked really well. I thought that it was a nice package, and it didn't say genomics. You know, you didn't look at it and go, well, that's complicated. I don't understand what's happening. This, this, is, this has got to be data visualization. It was snuck in. The data viz was totally snuck in, and nobody had to know about it, which is wonderful. It's, it's like typography that just sits there on the page very quietly, and it doesn't care that you don't see it, that you only see the words, that you don't see the individual letters, because that's its job. Um, and when you do look at it, you know, it can have a conversation with you, but it doesn't insist on it.